I had read about this guest house in Varanasi, where people check in to die. It's called Kashi Lab Mukti Bhavan. Hi everybody, my name is Deepak Ramola and I love people and have been asking them for a long time what is their life lesson. This series is all about passing on those learnings and sharing that wisdom with you. I had read about this guest house in Varanasi, where people check in to die. It's called Kashi Lab Mukti Bhavan. Rooted in the belief system of many Hindus is that if you take your last breath in Kashi, you attain what is popularly known as fruit of Kashi or Kashi Lab, which is moksha or salvation. Now the interesting fact is that you're only allowed two weeks to stay in and die. So you have to be really sure. If, if you're still hanging around after two weeks, you got to check out. So I was really curious and fascinated to understand what would those people have learned who have not only accepted death as a reality, but are rather anticipating it with the timer on. So I went to Varanasi, spent a week in the guest house and interviewed people who had checked in. Phenomenal, their life lessons were really thought provoking. So in the same environment, I met Mr. Bhairav Nath Shukla, who has been the manager of Mukti Bhavan for last 44 years. He has seen more than 12,000 deaths. So I asked him, what have you learned after seeing both life and death at such close quarters? He shared with me 12 life lessons, of which I wrote a blog post and it's read and shared by millions of people across the world and became highly popular. But there's one life lesson in that series, which is Mr. Shukla's favorite and resonated deep with me and the life lesson is resolve all conflicts before you go. He told me a backstory to it. There was a Sanskrit scholar of the times by the name of Ram Sagar Mishra. Mishra was one of the eldest of the six brothers and was closest to the youngest. One argument years ago led to this bitter communication between the brothers and led to a wall eventually partitioning the house. In his final years, Mish checked into the guest house with his little pan case and told Shukla to reserve room number 3 for him because he was sure he's going to pass away on day 16th after his arrival. On day 14th, he said, I want my estranged brother of 40 years to come and see me. This bitterness heavies my heart. I want to resolve every conflict before I go. A letter was sent out. On 16th day, the brother arrived and Mish held his hand and asked him to bring down the wall dividing the house. He asked for his brother's forgiveness. Both brothers wept and mid-sentence, Mish stopped speaking. His face became calm and he was gone in a moment. And I know that anecdote sounds straight out of a folk fiction novel, but Mr. Shukla told me that he has seen the same story replay over and over again with many different people who have come there. He said to me, Deepak, I see so many people carrying such unnecessary baggage throughout their life, only wanting to drop it at the very end of their journey. The trick, he said, however, lies in not having any conflict, but resolving every conflict as soon as you have it. You cannot and you should not go to bed having an argument, a disappointment, a resentment and doubt. You should try to resolve it. Because you see, the good news is you're alive. The bad news is, no one knows for how long. So resolve your conflicts today. I hope this makes and fuels your day. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, I'm happy to tell you there's more coming. You can share your life lesson with us to be featured on the series. Visit us at www.projectfuel.in and send your life lesson. Let's learn from each other.